Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and a huge welcome to anyone who's new here. Today is a video that you guys have been requesting for a while and it is finally how I edit my photos on Lightroom Classic. So today is the day. I'm taking you on a little tutorial behind the scenes of how we do that. Also though, before we start, 2K. Guys, 2K a couple of weeks ago, thank you so much. That's insane. Um, we got here so quickly. It's always really inspiring to meet you guys. You guys push me, like keep on going, do more, make more. So you guys are really such a cool group of people. Thank you so much. If you do like the tutorial guys, don't forget to hit the like and comment because it really does help my videos and push it out to more people. And consider subscribing if you are new here. Let's get into the tutorial and I hope you like it. What's up family and welcome to Lightroom. So Lightroom is really easy to use and before this I was using Affinity Photo and Photoshop until I started using Lightroom. I have no idea why it took me so long but Lightroom is just the bomb. Like it's so fast. I smash out my edits, skin retouching and stuff. I still would prefer to use Photoshop or Affinity Photo. Lightroom is just amazing for color. It's so quick. So you can basically do everything on these sliders over here on the right hand side. The first thing I want to do though, I want to crop the image. So I can get Alex a little bit more in the center. You guys, it's taken me so long to make this video for you. Um, so many of you, of you guys have been asking for these Lightroom tutorials. So here it is. A few weeks ago, we were shooting at a hotel in Blanes in the Costa Brava, doing their like Instagram and their content and stuff like that. And we got a bunch of pictures here and it was such a, a dope place to shoot. We actually, we called this place Miami because of the palm trees and stuff. So it was warm, obviously. So let's bring this temperature up. Let's say just there uh next we have the exposure so that's gonna make the image brighter or darker okay next one we have highlights and contrast shadows everything here i'm fine with so i'm gonna leave it as it is and also if you guys want to see the before and after you can just click the y key and then it will show you before and after okay clarity i'm gonna bump the clarity up not too much otherwise it just looks bad but let's say about five okay next we have our saturation and we have our vibrance so for this one i'm gonna leave well vibrance we can say there at two and i'm gonna bring the saturation up to let's say 31 just so we can get a little bit more color Okay, and next we have this tone curve here. So this is where you see the people normally do a classic S curve. So in this end here, we're working with the highlights. So I'm going to bring the highlights up and just like very small changes. Otherwise, if you go too crazy, then it doesn't look good anymore, guys. Okay, so that is good with the red. It's like such a small adjustment. The green and the magenta, I'm just gonna leave that as it is. Uh, this is one that I usually like when I'm working with these kind of pictures as well. Because the yellow will make it a little bit warmer. Okay, perfect. It's so easy, that's it. Um, so then I'm gonna go HSL is really cool and this is something that I used to struggle with in Photoshop and Affinity Photo for something so simple just to manipulate one color for example if you want to change the green you can come over here with it on here and you can move the green up and down so here to the left it's gonna be well more of a yellow and if you go over here it's more of a dark green for this one, because I want to bring the green out a little bit more, let's bring this one up to about a 14. And you can do that with any of the colors, guys. So it's really cool. Also, saturation. For Alex's face, I want to give it a little bit more orange. So I'm going to bring the orange up and you can see just a tiny bit. Let's not turn him into an Oompa Loompa. Uh, 14. Okay, and then, and the same again, you can change any color here while you can, 
saturate any color here and with the luminance this is going to make the colors brighter or you can make them darker same here with the green if you guys see here in the corner this was such a cool thing about shooting in this place is that in the evening the lighting you can have some shadow on the face but the lighting in the back was like crazy just so much light back there so it was a perfect set i shot so many portraits there so i'm going to let's add a little bit more light for the green and that looks good Okay, um, if you guys want to see as well what it looked like before and after, for example, on the tone curve, you can turn this on and off. So you can see it basically we've just added a little bit of contrast and it is brighter. And sometimes you can go overboard as well. So it's always good to just go backwards and forwards just to make sure you haven't gone too crazy. Uh, next one here with the color grading, this is a really cool tool as well because you can just apply the effects to the shadows, highlights, or the midtones. Come over here, we can bring this one up to... say like a light orange. And then you can just bring it up and down on the slider. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be like a very small... Bring it down a tiny bit more. say about there so it's super subtle but it gives it that warm feeling in the back i might actually just bring it down a little bit more yeah perfect okay i am happy with that so i'm going to leave this picture as it is right there um the next thing i'm gonna do is come up here to mask and this is one of my favorite tools i use this one all the time um, if you guys want to see, you can click on an area here, and if you want to remove this, you can click O, and you will remove it, and you can see what you're doing. So, because I already have it selected, this is where the sun was coming through, so I'm going to make this brighter here. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more warmth in there, and I'm going to do some over here as well. Um, I'm going to do a new one and put a little bit in here as well. So this one we can just bring out the saturation. We can bring the exposure up just a tiny bit. Okay, perfect. And then the next thing as well is for his face. So I'm going to just do a click over here. Another click over here just to make it just a tiny bit brighter. But we don't want to lose the shadows. Alright guys, and because we are working in a sunset here as well, and you can see it's kind of hitting us here, I want to get a little bit more of that as well. So let's bring a little bit more light to us here. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to do are the eyes. Now, in this, it's not going to stand out too much because it isn't very close. But it's a very good habit to get into when you guys are shooting portraits because the eyes are a key feature for editing. Boom! Don't go too crazy. We don't want to make people look like demons and monsters, but... I don't know guys, what do you think? Does he look like a monster? And that's it you guys. It, it feels like it is so simple, but I really hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. If you did, let me know and I'll make more for you. Um, I always just go back to why to see the before and after. And look at that, it's beautiful. So guys, hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, finally we smashed out a Lightroom tutorial.